Now, uh, their discovery, research, and the contribution or contribution or acknowledged by UNESCO and the Indian government, the Tamils with the Dravidian stock are quite distinct in some way, more ancient than the Aryans who appeared on the scene quite late. Now, their life and work uh, have given the sense of pride and identity to 77 million Tamils, one of the oldest and largest ethnic linguistic cultural groups in the modern world. These great men uh, engulfed their life with a lot of determination to give their best to the people, language and culture that they found themselves in. In my books, Namwalvil Ulaviyal Part 1 and Part 2, these books are not going to speak about our glorious past and the wonderful contribution that we Tamils and Tamil literature have made to the world all these years. I think we do that anyway, and I leave that job to somebody else. I think my role as a responsible Tamil and a psychologist who is really concerned about the social well-being of my own Tamil people is to point out our blind spots and the areas that need attention and change. We say in psychology and counseling that Tamil's cognitive ability is very high, but the emotional knowledge is so low. In most cases, no emotional awareness at all. I can say um, uh, there is a huge level of emotional uh, illiteracy among Tamils. Uh, it's not only in Tamil Nadu, but also even among Western diaspora. Uh, there are uh, very good jobs uh, where Tamils get employed, they make a lot of money, but can't handle uh, their emotions. And so end up not fully engaging the benefit of their talents or a job uh, and um, the money that they make. Now, that's very dangerous position because one can survive or lead a decent life somehow without adequate intellectual ability. But however, However, one is intelligent and has plenty of money or in power and a position if no emotional awareness or one is not able to regulate one's emotions. There is no peace, there is no happiness and there is no success in life. Because lack of emotional awareness results in irrational belief and encourages, and encourages one to live uh, in a false world of bias and prejudice. Even the most educated and qualified uh, one, qualified people without emotional awareness and knowledge become cursed to themselves as well as others around. 